better like Fuck. Oh, that's all it took, I guess. The different one now. How many are there? What the fuck? I spawned a third one. Let's keep it going. Take it down to zero in one shot. Can we do it? Can we do it? There's at least three active right now. So if we can get rid of these three, we can always deal with the other three after. If only there was a source of fire in the room, but it probably wouldn't be on until I completed the room anyway. Come on, we, we can clean this one out. Come on. Ugh. Stupid mistakes. Keep it going like that, keep it going. Nice little tap. Just keep the tabs going, keep the tabs going. Tap it, tap it, tap it in, tap it all the way. Fuck, he's too close to me. Come on, right there, right there. Three more. One, two, and three. That should be it. Okay. So there's three on two on me right now. And then probably three more total. So there's a 60 health one. Should be able to finish him off pretty easily. Seems like they're all active now. What the fuck? They keep getting stuck in the table, which is nice. Yeah, there's too many at once. Yeah, we can't be doing them on top of each other like that. Can we get one to spawn by itself, please? What we really need. But I need one to spawn separate from the other. Or well, maybe if we can get both two for one, I'd be okay with that. I have to time it a little differently, I guess. It's worth it, though. It's worth it, because there'll only be three left, then. Let's just do it like this. Okay, one's dead. serve a bit. So we have a little bit left, but basically we have to deal with three without it. You gotta think of it like that. So there's three left officially. Let's see if we can't aggro them a little bit by themselves. How many did I aggro? How many? One? I mean, I'll do that with the fire too if I have to. The most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. This is actually like busted. Like I have no choice but to do this. Holy shit. I'll take as much as I can anyway like this. Should be at least like a hundred. Okay, flash him out, flash him out. Flash him! I, I was flashing. Dumb shit game. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Look how far away you can do it. Like, there's no excuse for getting hit. To do it a bit early here, though, because it's got to reach him, too. So there should only be two left, which, knowing me, I could still fuck it up, but... This is about as good as it's gonna get. Just keep it around the sixes and the ones, that's how you gotta do it. Just give it a light tap. Six and one, six and one. A little bit too close to me. Too close for comfort. Right there, nice little stun lock. 
I messed it, but do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again, and one more time should be enough. So I have a little bit left in the tank, but not much. So there's at least two more left. Which is hard to understand how that's possible. It really is hard to comprehend, but... Let's move an inch at a time, see if we spawn something. We can go up to here and it's not spawning anything. So... Not quite sure what's going to trigger it. As soon as you cross this, maybe? The hell? Okay, so there's two. I mean... Basically, flash one, suck the other. That's gonna be the, the way to go. So flash one... Suck the other. That's, that's the strat. So exhausting. Holy shit. I, I'm too slow with that though. Yeah, that was good. That was fine. Did he spawn yet though? That's the only thing I don't know. He spawned on the other side. Don't take any chances though. Who knows? There might be a phase 3 at this fucking rate. Let's see, the second one, right here. Oof, a little bit, little bit risky, I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, does that mean there's still three? Because there's two 200s and then the... Wait, how many are there? The same one couldn't be respawning that fast. Yeah, there's two... So there's still three more? Are you kidding me? We got the 89 one. That's kind of hard to imagine. I mean, I, I can't even believe it. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. They're spawning so fast now all of a sudden. Look at that. Back to back to back. As soon as you hear that, you should back off. The second one spawned in. Okay. There's at least two, maybe three. It's hard for me to tell. Okay. Missing a point blank range. Just what I need to see. The mirror room 2.0. What we were all waiting for. That the home stretch, the home stretch, everything we worked for, everything we believed in in this run, this is it. Dude. This is the end time. Why am I greeting? Why am I greeting? Uh. Don't greed, don't greed. <sighs> greed leads to excuses. You don't need excuses, just just do it. Just do it. That's it. Okay, that's bad positioning. That's bad positioning. That was really close. Okay, that's gonna be the 18 one over there. Can't quite see him. So let's see what we got on this side. That's probably the 200. I don't know why he keeps spawning on the other side. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay, just watch for the spawn, watch for the spawn. And I shouldn't assume that this is the last one because if something grabs me, I'm fucking dead. But... I'm, I'm not gonna assume it. Something's gonna jump out and fucking grab me. I probably miscounted. I'm not gonna take a chance. Okay, it's fine. It's no big deal. No! No! Yo, what am I- what am I thinking right now? What am I thinking? All I have to do... Dude, just... <clears throat> just use the fire if you have to, I don't know. Can I just... I don't think it'll be enough, but... Where are you? I wish it would be enough, but it's not going to be. Oh, don't let him get that close. Don't let him get that close, but we got it, we got it. There's the glove, okay. I'm saving it right now. Who the fuck you think you're playing against? I did your stupid mirror room. I did your stupid fucking projector room. Like what more could I do to show you? That this is fucking gonna happen no matter what you throw at me. I will overcome any kind of BS that you come up with. You can't see the enemies, no problem. You can't hear the enemies, no problem. You can't hit the enemies, no problem. Like, I'll figure a way no matter what the fuck you do. So just give up. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Give me that fucking heart. And we got one more bullshit room to do. Which is the banana thing. Maybe I'll turn this shit into Madame Clairvoyant though. It's because I can. I'm just worried about this bug. Isn't that all of them except for the star, which I'm about to get? I don't care who you are, dude. Alright, so if we look at it, we have four of the five items. But it's not registering one of them. Whatever. I don't know what I could do. I mean, worst case, I could play through the whole game normally and then switch it to this once I get to this point. Because I've done every room up to now. That would be so horrible, though. Oh, that would be atrocious. I hate that idea. Uh, we 
You gotta go in here with a hundred health though. And fire. This is really different than I thought it'd be. Like I thought it'd be hard, but this is actually changing my whole perception of it. Like it feels not only like a different game, it feels like it was almost meant to be this way. That you flesh out the mechanics fully and completely and you have no choice. It's really a beautiful thing. And that's what hard modes are all about. They make you... They don't make you use the mechanics. They make you use them to their fullest. Or you don't have a chance to survive. Imagine min-maxing and fucking metagaming in Luigi's Mansion. But that's what it makes you do. And the best way to do it is completely blind, without any help or guides or anything. You just, you're forced into a very, very tough situation, and you have to find a way out. And you realize nuances and intricacies to the mechanics that were always there, but you never had to use. Like that stun lock thing, I never even knew you could do that. Or at least I never did it. Uh, maybe once by accident or something, but it wasn't like a strategy I ever used. Because you didn't have to. And it would have felt like kind of cheap if you did. But here, it still feels kind of cheap, but... The challenge also feels kind of cheap because of how hard it is. So it balances out. <laughs> Let's fill up, and then we can do that banana room, astrology room, whatever you want to call it. The phase one is easy, phase two is moderately challenging. Same grabbing enemies. I mean, I never liked those enemies, but I've gained a real hatred for them from this fight through. They are the most annoying, unavoidable, obnoxious enemies in the whole game. I've never struggled with the other ghost types nearly as much. Oh, I'm worried about that fucking mailbox. So I'll go get the boost later. Let me just do as much as I can. That'll be easy. I mean, it's just booze. This room is going to be the last tough one probably before the boss. I missed the hallway. Right here. Let me conserve my fire here because I'm going to need it. I wasn't very conservative. The fuck am I doing? Not the best performance of lighting candles that I've seen. How did that not hit? Are you kidding me? Dude, what? Two bars wasted. That was horrible. Oh my god. Alright. Phase one has to be perfect. Don't get hit by the stupid bananas. This game is a troll extravaganza. Who would have ever thought someone would be doing this in 2021? Holy shit, I almost got hit by that. I just have to take off little chunks at a time. The core gameplay is still really good though because there is some depth to it, the way that you see all this shit play out. It's still hard. Like if it was so easy I could just roll through it, but it's not. Like the core mechanics. It's just that the damage and the health 
are exacerbated substantially. See, some games wouldn't be fun because it's like, oh, it's just extra health with health padding. Here, the mechanics are interesting enough to justify it, so. <clears throat> yeah, that's so. That's not gonna happen. And the trick to this riding the vacuum thing is just don't move too much. Like, stillness is your friend. Like, just let the let the enemies do the moving for you. Okay. <clears throat> to be perfect the rest of the way. Really, I had to be perfect anyway, but I fucked up, so what can I do? I'm not gonna quit over that. Okay, that's not gonna happen. That candle stuff throws you off. That put him in a trip. This room is a real trip. I feel like I'm on acid right now. That was actually a pretty good one. <laughs> this room is a trip. Oh, shit. Okay, watch out for the banana peel. Now watch and learn. Here's the deal. Be careful. We gotta burn two in the next phase, and then take out the other two. I think there's four total. For a room of this size, that's pretty hard to manage. Normally it might not be that hard, like I just dealt with six of them, but... Room... Is this room really that much smaller? It's actually about the same, to be honest with you. It's the placebo effect, I guess. Okay. Clear out the side, clear out the side. Okay, they're all on that side. Looks like they listened. They cleared out right when I said it. Oh my god. Okay, don't be greedy, don't be greedy. I can't believe I even took one hit, but it's okay. Suck up the bananas. And... See what we can do. Take a little bit off. They despawn so quickly it almost makes it worthless to suck them up. There's really no need to. Unless they're right on top of you. In which case you should switch sides anyway. They just throw them so quickly and with such ease, it's like pointless to do anything. Even while you're sucking them. You're never gonna stop them from throwing them. <clears throat> okay, good take, good take. Looks good to me. Fuck. Oof, he spawned right on top of me. Didn't even see him there. Just watch out, just watch out. Very careful, very smooth. It's good to me. It's good to me. A good take, about 30. Looks like they're getting a bit more aggressive and they're falling into my trap. Can't really see the bottom here. Did he throw one? <clears throat> okay, he's right on top of me. Don't be greedy for it. Flash him out. So we got a couple low health ones. Very nice. As soon as we get one, it becomes much easier. Three is so much easier to deal with than four. 
Okay. 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 I got I got nothing to say about that. Finish him off, get the helm, get the helm. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, switch sides, switch sides. <clears throat> okay, good dodge. You gotta remember, they they don't work like they really should, where if you walk over them, you get hurt. If you even are standing still over them, you still get hurt. It's like a bomb. Banana bombs. Okay, keep switching sides. We want to start phase two on this side, though. That's for sure. So we got a double take opportunity, which is not really worth the risk either. <sighs> okay, take it easy. Now phase two is incoming very soon. Very, very shortly. Easy enough to control them at this pace. Take these two up. Make sure it's clear. Okay, good take. So there's two left. Hopefully they drop some HP too. Sometimes those do. Alright. It's good to me. Don't be greedy. The fact that they can throw while you're sucking them kind of throws me off. It just seems like something they shouldn't be able to do. But of course... Oh wow! That was, that was way risky, man. Why did I do that? There's no need to fucking be that aggressive right now. Can we get one to come a little bit closer to me? Ooh, I keep almost just running into them. Don't take any chances. I just want to go in phase two with a good plate of health. Okay, no health in that one. I mean, 90 is, is fine. Just... Oof, bad, bad position, bad position. Maybe it gave me a second of leeway there. So can I burn them? At least I can see them this time. Unlike that stupid projector room. That is itself a godsend. So keep it around the ones. And maybe I can do both together. It is kind of worth it, but I feel like I'm wasting it. It's impossible for me to do the timing. Like, Oof, why did, why did I do that? What am I thinking? He's far enough where it should be safe. We should easily be able to take out these two with the fire, which will only leave two left, I think. Which should be fine. Favorite enemy type, I just love them. Fun gameplay, interactive gameplay. It is actually kind of satisfying, though, to come up with a strategy like this. I would have never thought to do it. But then after so many trials and tribulations, it ends up being a natural response to the hardship you face. Hardship leads to learning. Learning leads to progression and satisfaction. That's the right way for difficulty to work. Oh, don't let him move, don't let him move. Don't let him move, don't let him move. Finish him off, finish him off. 90 HP, only 3 left, we should be in the clear. Just get this one, thank you for waiting. I appreciate that he waited for me to kill the other one. Fuck. It's getting a little bit too close, but let me try to control him. I even said it. I even said it. For some reason he's having trouble grabbing me. 
Maybe I should suck this one. I don't know. I'll feel more comfortable once it's dead. How does one kill a ghost? That's simple, you burn it. Okay, 86, 81, 76, 71, 66, 61, 56, 51, 46, 41, 36. Oh, I missed. Fine, fine. I'll have a good amount of fire left anyway. At least he's low enough to be handled. We can just spam it, I guess, for this portion. Because I, I can't even see the timing, but... This is such a cheese thing, but I fucking, you know, it's part of the game. It's part of the experience. To get this as low as possible. I mean, if you did this in the original game, it's cheese, but you wouldn't even have to because they don't have that much health. We could finish this off with the fire, so there might only be one left when all is said and done. 76, 71, 66, 61, 56, 51, I had a time at 46, 41, 36, 31, 26, 21, 16, 11, 6. So as far as I know, as far as I could tell last time, there should only be one left. That should be the last one. Let's take him in one shot and be done with this fucking room. Well, maybe not one shot, but okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> this fire thing is gonna be nuts coming out. I'm gonna have to use it a lot, I think. If it's a fair challenge, I don't mind, but you only have so much of it to go around. How come this guy's fighting back so well? Normally I can take these in one shot. There can't be more. There can't be. Wait, what? Dude, how the fuck? Yo, what is this room? Alright, don't panic, just... No, this is too much. I'm, I'm actually not happy with this. Dude, what the fuck is this room? <sighs> I refuse to accept that this is a real room right now. This would have been hard even in the regular fucking game. Are you kidding me? Got the fucking bone throwers. How many exactly do we have? We have two of each. Just don't get hit by those stupid projectiles. There's three of them. Okay, play it safe. Play it smart. This is how it's gonna be. This is how it's gonna be from now on. With ludicrous rooms, triple phases, no mercy. Shall be given and none will be taken. Just have to do it. Just have to do it. That's what it's all about. Hard mode means this. Okay. Take it easy. Take it slow. Take a little bit off. Take a little bit off. I gotta get better at chaining those together. Double take. Double take. Good double take. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, good chain, good chain. Don't overdo it though. 
stay in control, stay in control. Good rhythm to it. And don't go for the chain there because he's about to blast you with a fucking bone. Okay, that was just mad positioning, I guess. Is it worth it to... No, it's not worth it. Just stay calm. Just stay calm, get the heart. I thought I could finish him off, but... Play it smart, play it smart. Dude, why can't I target you? Okay. Two left. Apparently I, I can't land a hit there, so that's fine. See how well I played until I, I got them low? And then I started to get cocky or something. So just stay focused, stay focused. Okay, nice move, smooth moves. I think we just got those two left. It'll probably be a phase four though, to be honest with you, so... You know, maybe a phase five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, whatever. As many as you want, dude. As many as you fucking want. Dude, why am I doing that? Just be safe. Just be safe. Don't get hit by the stupid mushroom. I mean, if there's a phase four... Holy shit. Can I go and save it, or...? I mean, surely... Surely it'll let me save it. Yeah, sh surely. Just don't die on the way out, like... On the way back. Don't get blown up by some dumb shit. If only I had the shortcut. So we did two extremely tough rooms. Back to back. Very nice, very nice. That was actually God tier performance. Okay, so we're gonna go heal up and go collect the star, Mario star. That was ridiculous. Oh my god. That was amazing. Back to back behemoths of rooms right there. There's nothing to say, but they're... That third phase almost broke me mentally, just to see that there was one. But I actually did pretty well until... I started doing well, then I choke, you know. That's my big tendency. I'll start off really well, and then I'll make progress and feel like, Oh, I'm doing good, and then I'll fuck up. You have to just do it the same way the whole time. Same way the whole time. This is going to be 50, try to get up to 100 because who knows what's coming up now. Pretty much I think I'm done with this level. And I think those were the main rooms. You just pick up Mario Star and then you get the uh, Safari Room. Have to collect some booze. But that is pretty much this level. Pretty much it. Save some time, just give me a 50 piece. Give me a 50 piece. Like my boy Giannis dropped. Alright. 80, 90. That was a thoroughly fulfilling day, but nothing would make it better than to maybe finish off. I don't even have to do boo losses, but at least I should get to it. Meaning I have to get boos up the ass. Which will be easy, of course. Let me just get the stupid star. 
and do the safari room. Uh, I forget what do I have to do in the safari room? There's something weird you have to do, like hit the deer heads or something. You have to like, I don't know what the hell you have to do. So you have one coin that shows you how much I've gotten hit, because you lose them when you get hit. Oh shit, it's soft locking me with help. Anyway, that's good enough, let's get the star. Can't wait for the fucking blackout sequence either. That's gonna be nuts. Did I turn in the shit to her? Well, I have to turn in the star anyway, so... Maybe she's the one who drops the safari room key, so that's gonna fuck me over if... Oh, that would be awful timing. At least if it's something later, I can do it later. That's gonna ruin my fucking mood. I don't think there's enemies in the next room. Maybe there are, though. Why, why do I feel like there aren't? Yeah, you just do this, you fucking shoot the moon down or something. He's sitting on his fucking vacuum like a chair. What a tool. And there's the inspiration for Mario Galaxy. There was actually a level based on Luigi's Mansion in that, right? In part 2, I think. I forget now, but... You have to shoot this shit. Kind of awkward aim. Way off. Very hard depth perception. So it's like way this way. Wow, it's even more that way. So it's like almost here. <laughs> no. It's such a weird angle. Compared to where I shot it before, that almost made sense. No? What the fuck? It's in between here and there. What a weird angle. How can it be? What the hell? This is the weirdest angle ever. So that looks straight on, but if I move it left one inch, it goes off the other side. Are you seeing this? What the hell is that? It's way off. It's way off. What am I not understanding? Like right in that crevice. The sensitivity is like fucked up. Oh my god. Oh that was almost it. It's almost like you have to catch it and then immediately do it at that angle. This cannot be happening right now. <laughs> this is so dumb. Look how fucked up the sensitivity. Right here. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> That shit hit. Dude, it's trolling me. It's trolling me. How do you do this? Clearly it's because I'm riding the fucking vacuum, but still. 
But you have to get it just the right angle, like right between this and this. Like right there, no. I had it so close that one time. This tool riding a vacuum is getting trolled by a celestial object. Like, what is happening right now? <laughs> like, think about the situation in real life. <laughs> Fucking guy sitting on a vacuum. <laughs> The shooting asteroids that he psyched up with the vacuum at an inanimate object unsuccessfully. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, what is this? It looks like you'll hit it there, but you won't. How do I do it? Oh my god. I don't see how up or down would matter much. This is so stupid. Hardest part of the game right here. What a level. This level was amazing though. What an amazing experience. I'm actually unsure of how to handle this situation. Come on. It's actually trolling me right now. This can't be for real. It's gotta be right up here, but not too far right. Like this position maybe? No. You have to like suck it up in perfect position, maybe. Which I didn't do. Like so close to that point. It's such a weird angle, I can't believe it. That should, that should be it, wait. Thank God. Oh, that was the worst. Get that fucking star and get out of here. That's the fifth item, we'll see if it's bugged out or not with this fucking ladder. Please don't be bugged. Please. Then I won't know what to do. That's all five items. You go back, save it. I better save it after that shit. <clears throat> we gotta get the booze. But let's do the safari room first. Maybe it's some weird thing like you need a certain amount of booze before you can do this? I don't really know. Should be the last item. Star. This should be the last one. Bowser. Wait, oh, it is bugged then. Oh. Maybe I'll get some booze and see. 
Not much else I can do. If you look on the map, or just go from room to room and see what I can do. See which booze I left behind, I guess. Nothing in here. There is one in here. Peekaboo. Don't escape, don't escape. You really have nowhere to go besides that one way. Right here. Maybe if he goes up here, I don't know what that would do. I don't think he even can. Let's not find out. <clears throat> okay, we got 11. I forget how many we even need, but 20 maybe? Oh, let's do all these area 2 rooms that we miss. I don't think I got any of these. Uh, we got that side, not this side. Let me actually check one thing. Yeah, I don't know, I'll just catch some booze I guess for now. Come on. Well, let me try one thing. Oh shit, nice. Get the sucker. Boris. I can't remember if the names are like fixed. Like every room or if it's just random. Certainly the health amounts are all weird because I think that's the fake door. Finish this sucker. Oh, come on. Let me get every boo that I can anyway. Should be like 20 something. I don't know if that secret room has a boo, but I don't really care. Let's just get what we can. So we'll go here. We can go to the kitchen. We did the left side ones. I'm in the middle here.
Mario, oh yeah. 